I think I want to talk a little bit about who we are. Because see, reality is based upon our perception of reality. <laughs> it's what it is. But we really need to understand that. See, and I think one of the objectives in life is to understand it. It's not enough to know. <laughs> but from my close-up inspection, uh, there's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. The only site uh, is the actual uh, site of the building that's crashed in. And as I said, the only pieces left uh, that you can see are, are small enough that you could pick up in your hand. Uh, there are no large uh, tail sections, wing sections, uh, a fuselage, nothing like that anywhere around. So I think one of the purposes that life teaches us is and the further we make it into life, the more coherency we have left and we will understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a reality where I'm surrounded by all these beings that don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. And because they don't know who they are, they don't know where they are, they don't understand the language that they speak, so there's a general confusion and chaos that just takes place in their reality. It's almost like, you know, the way they make all the little chaos go inside of an internal combustion engine, you know, and all the sparks and all the stuff just fly in it and it makes, it creates an energy that runs something. Well, anyway, it's almost like this is the perceptual reality that is being carried around in the human consciousness. In our common collective genetic ancestral mind, not a one of our ancestors went for the new show. <laughs> Nobody wanted, they wouldn't buy the tickets. <laughs> So the show was going to die. <laughs> so the show decided rather than it die, it would make our ancestors die until they accepted the show. And this is what happened. <laughs> it happened to all of us. Whatever happened to the Indians here, trust me, it happened to the tribes of Europe. You know, it started happening to them 3,000 years before it happened to us. So by the time the descendants of tribes of Europe got here, they had it down. <laughs> you know, they were very efficient. They could do in a couple hundred years what it took. <laughs> I mean, no offense. <laughs> you see the plane come in there? No, I, ne I didn't see no plane, didn't hear no plane. You know, like I said, all I heard was the impact and then the plane. This huge ball, ball of fire came up over the building. Moths and other sacred wings. Butterflies and bees whisper. In breath of the wind, blessed way, blessing way things. Dreams are the mind's streams. Thought pictures of the spirit. They are dreams of the day. There are dreams of the night. Thinking and dreaming are related. Dreams of the day we make our own. Dreams of night, part of eternal stone. There are dream takers, taking from dream world, taking dreams as a way of stealing thoughts, turning minds inside and out. Dream slavers want to change our connections to ourselves, mess with our dreams. Make us unsure, unclear about right and wrong. Feed our dreams and instincts to industrial profit machine. Difference between dream and fantasy, reality and illusion, center and no center. Dreams of the day keep our spirit alive, our creative mind, who we really are. With dreams we can create and heal, follow our original purpose. Dreams are protection, good medicine. Blessed way, blessed way things. Sun and moon continue. We are all on one journey. So in our collective genetic ancestral memory, we had the experience of encountering the technologic perceptual reality. Because somewhere as this thing unfolded and refined itself as it was spreading over the planet, a religious perceptual reality was used to replace a spiritual perceptual reality. All right? Because the spiritual sense of rea reality, you're connected to everything, man. You know, you're connected. But in the religious perceptual reality, see, you committed a crime for being born, so you're forgetting here. <laughs> I didn't make this up. <laughs> I'm not making it up now. <laughs> right?